Rutherford County Emergency Services could lose half their income next year. That is if the city of Murfreesboro starts its own ambulance service. News for us, Rebecca Cardenas live in Murfreesboro tonight. Rebecca, the motive certainly understandable here. The city wants faster response times. Yeah, this is about the time it takes a call to get from the county dispatch to the city's fire department and get these ambulances on their way. That would be devastating to our current ambulance budget. Rutherford County preparing to draft a very different budget for 2020 in case the city of Murfreesboro decides to buy their own ambulances. That would leave our county uh, EMS uh, uh, making calls in the county, uh, the rural part of the county. Murfreesboro accounts for 60 to 70 percent of Rutherford County's emergency calls, meaning the county EMS would lose more than half its income. You're going to have to lay off probably 60 or 70 percent of the workforce. I think there's been some concern between the time that the call comes to uh, our ambulance dispatch to the time that our ambulance dispatch contacts Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue and tells them to roll. So there could be a minute or so in between. The Murfreesboro Post reports the city is discussing purchasing seven ambulances at just under $5 million. It doesn't matter what vehicle you arrive in or what you have embroidered on your shirt. When, if it were my family or, or my loved one laying there bleeding out, I don't care who it is, I want the fastest response time that you can possibly get. The county mayor tells me he's negotiating, co-locating all the dispatchers, so putting them all in one place, so it cuts down the time it takes from a, for a call to get from here to another agency. The city telling me, by the way, that they are right now assessing all the logistics it will take to actually go forward with this decision. Tom Tracy. We know you'll keep us posted. Rebecca, thanks.